live streaming, according to Google, is a technology that lets you watch, create, and share videos in real time, a bit like TV. All you need to be able to live stream is an internet enabled device like a smartphone or tablet and a platform such as a website or an app to live stream from. Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to live stream with a mobile device and a PC from OBS Studio to YouTube. Now, the devices uh, will be needing uh, some number of equipment. The first equipment I'll be needing for this live stream is a tripod. Now you need mobile devices that will be, to be live streaming with. I have my tablet, my phone here, and the laptop I'll be live streaming from. Then this app, Irian Webcam, you download it on all the devices you'll be needing in the live stream. And also on the PC as well, you have to download Irian Webcam. Yes, it's completely free, Google Play Store and Microsoft Store, and a very good internet connection. Now let's go uh, let's go straight into the setup. This is the UI part of the video where we do the setup of OBS Studio. So everything will be linked in the description. The download link for OBS, download link for Iran Webcam for PC and Android. Everything will be there. So going through the installation process, you just choose the first option: optimize for streaming, recording. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Okay, let's go for the first one. Then over here, you can quickly go ahead and. Um, Okay, let's let's just go to the next page. And over here, you can link the account you want to link. I'm going to link YouTube. Then I'll connect my account to it. All right, so let's just skip to the part where it's finally enabled. Yes, I'm not going to share everything on camera. Okay. Okay, so actually. After everything was done, uh, it seems it's give us an error. So this thing can also be done again after the entire process is done. So you can just quickly cancel that and close it. We'll get back to that in a second. All right. So now the main, uh, this is the app's user interface, the software's user interface. You can, uh, you know, you can make it how you want it to look like. You can edit and move any of these panels you have here. Yes. Yeah, so we will go back to settings. Then we'll head back to stream. And over here, you can connect the account again. Yes. So you can do this again if the installation process didn't go well. So I've done that already. So let's quickly jump straight into the... Uh, yes. In the course of the live streaming, I might change the account because my account is not yet enabled for uh, live streaming. Yes. So now let's go back and close this. We're not really need this one now. Yes. All right. Okay, so these are the audio mixes for your desktop and your mic. We we can add more to that panel as well. We'll come back in a second. So over right here, this is where you add the the image, I mean the camera you'll be needing for, um, yeah. So okay, so back to the hardware pass. So you just click continue after installing the Aaron webcam. We do the same on the other device as well. And it says waiting for yes. So make sure that all the devices are connected to the same internet connection. I was just one work. Yes, and you just open the Iran webcam on your laptop and they all link automatically. You don't need to do any typing of code or something. Yes, so back to the uh, software. You we'll click on the plus icon and move on to video capture device. Then you type in the name you want to use. You, it's not necessary, but you can just type in something there so that it can make you uh, smarter in identifying your camera. So over right here, then you head back to Iran webcam. Then you select webcam one. The first one doesn't label itself as one, it's the main one. So that's the main camera connector right there. Then you can add the second one as well. The second one will be hashtag two. The first one, as I said, won't be labeled. So do it uh, how it's supposed to be done. And over here, you run webcam two. Then, of course, it's connected automatically. So I can just move the device over here. You could see it's a, uh, yes, you could see, yeah, you could see that as well. As everything is connected and it's working perfect. So now back to the UI. I've disconnected all the devices because I want to make this more and more um, into the UI aspect. That's what we are here to do. All right. So if you add the source, you can also add, um, if you go to source, you can also add images. You can add videos. There's a lot of uh, options you can choose from over there on that page. So you can go ahead and go through them. You see how they all work. Yes. So there's the media source for. Uh, videos you can add them as well if you want then 
Um, yeah, I'm trying to fix this back inside. Yes, it's. I'm. I'm still getting used to the software, but it's a very uh, recommended video. So I have to make like kind of a beginner's guide. Yes, from what I know so far, then maybe we can go to an advanced level in the next coming video. You can also add an image to the to the screen when live streaming. But be careful because there are some stuff that when you do, they appear during the live stream. So in an advanced level, you will learn how to do all that without letting them show on the screen. Yes. So this is like an image. You're just going to do something really uh, fast and simple just for you to know how the entire software works. So before the live stream starts, you can decide to set up all these things that you need. A uh, live stream uh, program, uh, maybe a... Uh, a live stream announcement or something all these things have to be listed nicely on the the software sorry for the background noise sorry for the background noise okay so yeah if i had that over there you can even look the video as well yes okay so All right, and over here, the I, um, icon you see right there helps you um, push the screen off, that specific one off or on, depending on how you are operating the live stream from your device. Now we have another one we see, we call the, uh, the app. You can capture an application's screen. Yes, but I mostly use Easy Worship, but for some reason now when I use Easy Worship, it doesn't display the live footage that I need. So for some reason, I've been using Easy Worship in OBS for the meantime. I'm trying to still figure out the problem. For example, I move over here to media and project this and go back. Now is the live screen, uh, screen we have here. So I bring this out. Okay, sorry, that's, that's not what I really meant. Uh, let's try fixing it, but uh, this is difficult. Okay, so over here, yes, if you move over here and I move to the first only the application audio, oh, okay, I think it's a rather application audio capture. That's what I saw. So maybe that's a problem here. That's a problem here. But I think if you want to capture the application, it's, it's follow this kind of procedure. Then you add the easy worship live screen. Click OK, and it comes over here. But I think this is the audio for the application that you want to capture. So I didn't see that earlier. So now I'm seeing this, I think I need to go back and work on that. Yeah, so we'll come back to that in another video. So over here, we have all the listed plans we need to get for the Easy Worship, uh, sorry, the OBS live streaming. So over here, you can go to live streaming. And before that, head up to YouTube Studio on the uh, account you want to live stream to yes make sure you open a uh, youtube studio from there i'll just quickly skip that but go to live, uh, live streaming and head up to um yes manage broadcast so where you can set up your broadcast it's like you um editing your youtube video the title description privacy and all that kind of stuff do that from here it's better and secure i'm going to make it private because we want to do this alone because it's a video that we are showing to you so it's not supposed to go like so you can choose this these two options are very important yes without doing those uh checking those you can't you can't live stream then you just go ahead and create a broadcast and start streaming yes we'll close that i head up to the studio where i normally live stream to yeah this is the church of principles and yeah so right now i've started a live stream and it's live streaming right now Let's click on the video's uh, description and head up to YouTube. So over here, um, after it's downloaded for some time, you'll see everything is live streaming from the local host. With the focus on the picture file. All right, so now let's turn off this and let's only make one, one thing visible at the moment.
Okay. So now let's go back to the live stream. Normally what you do in the OBS studio takes effect on a live stream after like, um, I think a maximum of 30 seconds. I don't, I've not really taken my time to study that, but it takes like about 30 seconds before it causes an effect to the live stream. So just be careful what you do because everything you do is surely going to appear on the live stream. Yes. Yes, and now it came right there. So that's how the live stream kind of thing works. So we'll just go ahead and stop streaming. Click yes. Then, yeah. So that here we can close that. Nice. Nice. So that is like a kind of beginner's guide on how to use OBS for live streaming. And I said this is not really anything difficult if you're a beginner. But if you want to move to an advanced level, there are a lot of stuff that you need to know about this thing to make yourself a professional. Yes, I'm still a beginner to OBS, so maybe a video, uh, second part may come out where I explain into details how OBS works for better professionality in your live stream. Make sure you download this uh, application in your webcam. You can minimize the application when you are doing, when you are working it uh, from OBS. It can be minimized, it's not a big deal at all. So you just need to connect it and that all. Yes, and you connect it from the OBS app and it's good. You just need to use applications that are supported by OBS and you're okay with that. Yeah, so that's the end of this video. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, I'm free to answer in the comment section and let me know what you think about this. If there's anything I missed, let me know. And I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Thanks for watching.